Patrick Brenner was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer in 2003 and was given just months to live. It got to the point where my eyes went crossed or something even, and then I finally went to the went to the hospital and had an MRI, and they found that there was a sizable tumor. When traditional treatments, including chemotherapy, failed to stop Brenner's tumor from growing, he enrolled in a clinical trial at Florida Hospital's Cancer Institute. Here, doctors administered purified venom protein from the giant yellow Israeli scorpion. The venom was tagged with radioactive iodine, which delivered localized radiation to the tumor cells. Now, three years later, Brenner's doctor, Nick Avgaropoulos, says his patient has seen a tenfold improvement in his prognosis. We don't have any other reason why he should be doing so well except to say that it was this agent. Of course, like anything, um, an anecdotal story or instance cannot be generalized to everyone, and that's why we do clinical trials. However, it's always encouraging to see that there is a possibility. A direct part of the tumor. Dr. Avgaropoulos points out that while most common cancer treatments kill healthy cells and are hard on the body, the scorpion venom only seeks out tumor cells and then attaches to them. When combined with radioactive iodine, the venom can be used to attack the malignant cells. The agent is delivered in weekly injections through a catheter in the patient's head. I think it's pretty amazing. I don't know if it's a miracle, but it's definitely good medicine. And hopefully some other people can get some good out of this. I'm just happy to be alive. And if this is the rest of my life, I can have accepted that. Brenner is just one of nearly 200,000 people in the United States diagnosed with a brain tumor each year, according to the American Brain Tumor Association. His progress and that of other patients given scorpion venom is being followed closely. The agent is performing well in studies on other types of cancer cells too, and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has the treatment on a fast track for approval. Steve Mort for VOA News, Orlando, Florida.